Now, back to Sunrise on News Radio 880 KCMX. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. 17 minutes after the hour, the Sunrise Show on News Radio 880 KCMX. And uh, thrilled to welcome onto the program um, author Zach Fortier. And he's, he's a retired law enforcement officer uh, from California, has done everything detective, canine, uh, traffic, and uh, just, uh, just amazing. We've had him on the program before, but his recent book, I Am Raymond Washington, is releasing today. It's the authorized biography about the original founder of the Crips, Raymond Washington. And he was uh, shot and killed uh, in 1979. And it's one of the uh, top ten cold cases, the fourth biggest cold case in the nation. And, uh, Zach, you found when you were interviewing and looking at and finding about this, that um, Raymond Washington, the undisputed founder of one of the most notorious, deadly, prolific gangs to ever dominate Los Angeles. And you said the population at some point got to 30,000. Ray, I mean, uh, Zach, right. welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me. So uh, you have, this is your seventh book, and uh, right. you, you know, you've brought out all of your law enforcement stories uh, in raw, gripping detail. And I, I had to chance to read through your curb check reload story after story after story. I mean, knock it out. But you had to um, finally leave law enforcement because of, you know, law enforcement because of PTSD, right? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. It got to be where I, I couldn't be on the street anymore. I just couldn't function. It, it was pretty uh, cognitively impairing. Yeah, and and we're talking about, um, you know, uh, w w you know, having your gun belt and making cognitive decisions, and right. in a split second. I mean, this is one of the dangers that law enforcement has is that they have to know when and where to keep their gun holstered. Correct? Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much huge. Just kind of common sense, yeah. Well, okay, so you've used the the writing as the therapy. It started out, and uh, here is your seventh book. I mean, congratulations, and it's being released today on, on Amazon, right? Both the e-version and also the paperback, correct? Right, right. Well, you can right. get to his uh, website, ZachFortier.com, and it's Z-A-C-H, and Fortier, you know, Fortier or Fortier, F-O-R-T-I-E-R, ZachFortier.com. And, uh, of course, you can go and order it that way. So talk to us about this. I am Raymond Washington, the founder of the Crips. Um, basically, uh, how it all kind of began was I, I became friends with uh, his nephew when I was working and uh, didn't really know there was a connection there. And then years later, while I'm writing the books, he got a hold of me and asked me to look oh. into it and see if there was, thought there was a story there. So you didn't know he was the nephew of Raymond Washington? No. Nope. Oh, no my idea. goodness. Oh, my goodness. So this fell into your lap and, of course, out to Los Angeles and all of the interviewing. What's very interesting, and, and um, we're gonna, we've are gonna, got just enough time to do that probably, is uh, United States Attorney General Eric Holder commented yesterday, I couldn't believe it, uh, here we, I knew you were going to be on the program this morning, and he did the Justice Department researching links between what draws new recruits to criminal gangs and what compels and converts to violent extremism. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, I mean, I would think you would be a, um expert on this. Uh, I wish. <laughs> well, you know, but you found why do people join gangs? Yeah, I, I found what I think is, is you know, the uh, the actual reason and, and verify it with the people that I actually worked against. I mean, a, a few of them that I actually were, we were adversaries on the street. And it's then become friends, and uh, it just all kind of made sense once it fell into place. But 
yeah, in, in the book, The Power of Myth, there's, he mentions uh, a lack of ethos in the society. So America has no ethos. That's the book by Joseph Campbell? Uh, yeah, Power of Myth. And basically, I don't think it's America so much as it, as you see, yeah. it's just become basically run by the rule of law instead of cultural norms. Yeah. The, the cultural norms don't exist anymore. So the culture it has been lost, but yet in games there is a culture. Yeah, very, very intense culture. Yeah. Wow. You know, so you see that in ISIS and all this stuff. I was have just a very intense yeah, culture. Exactly. I was just going to say because of, I mean, ISIS and this ISIL and Al Qaeda and all the different groups, they have a definite culture, and it's magnetizing. In fact, one of the issues now is. Uh, uh, you know, Americans or other foreigners having to go f are going to fight being called. That's it's crazy. So this, uh, you finished up the book with Raymond Washington, and uh, you you went in depth. You went on scene and got to see where he lived and uh, the, his neighborhood. What did you think with all that? Um, I was actually surprised. I, I, you know, had heard rumors about Compton and Watts the whole time I was working. I actually went there and. Um, Driving through it, it really wasn't much different than the city I worked in. It was just bigger. Interesting. A lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, and it was so interesting. Went on and on and on for miles of, you know, houses with bars on the windows and people with no jobs. And it's really destitute. And it's continued now, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it oh, hasn't yeah. it hasn't changed. I, You know, uh, we go back to the L.A. riots and all that kind of stuff. Um Zach, we've got to take a quick break. We've got um, author Zach Fortier on with us this morning. His book, I Am Raymond Washington, the authorized biography of the founder of the Crips, is released today. You can find it on Amazon along with all of his other six uh, titles. And then, or get to his website, ZachFortier.com. And we're going to come back and talk about this, this whole gang mentality because the essence is fascinating. We got to get to a break. The Bloomberg Market Update is next. The Sunrise Show on News Radio 880 KCMX. We'll be back after that. Now back to Sunrise on News Radio 880 KCMX. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. 35 minutes after the hour. I want to continue on our conversation with um, Zach Fortier. His book, uh, his latest, his seventh book, I Am Raymond Washington, the authorized biography of the founder of the Crips. Uh, uh, Raymond Washington, of course, uh, died in uh, August 9th, 1979, but he was 12 years old when he witnessed the L.A. riots, and he dragged home a huge box of... Uh, sporting equipment, balls and things like that from the, one of the sporting goods stores that had been uh, looted in his neighborhood. And, uh, you know, Zach, we were talking about that was probably one of the defining moments, but he also had a dress code. Talk about this dress right. code that he had that he started for the Crips. Uh, basically, he, he wanted to be able to differentiate himself from uh, the other gangs, and he had this influence of the Black Panthers, um, they, they had a clubhouse in the neighborhood that he lived, and he spent a lot of time there eating breakfast and, and hearing their ideology. And so when he did form the Crips, he came up with um, a stew hat they were supposed to wear and uh, a specific kind of shoes. I think they were, uh, I want to say, Stacy Adams, something like that. Yeah, yeah, so... And uh, they had overalls and basically they just had the, this whole dress code and it morphed almost immediately at first it started out they had long black jackets uh, and then really quickly those disappeared interesting then the dress code i mean they had uh the left back pocket they right. uh had their um handkerchief in a uh, blue they had left earring powder blue was their color leather gloves were kept in their left uh front pocket 
And right. and this was a huge, huge dress tone, like you said, differentiating between all that. What was interesting, as you went through, um, they did a very interesting thing. They being the gang members, whenever Raymond would show up, and as the population was increasing with these gang members, they would say, um, they would announce, Raymond, yeah. Raymond, our righteous leader. Yeah, yeah, they really had, they, they instill, these guys have a reverence for him that I, I just, it's really remarkable to me. Um, he would basically go out and do, you know, when the military, they call them health and welfare checks. They, they go out, the troop commander to go out and, and meet the troops to see what it is they need and how things are going. And he would do that. He'd go from neighborhood to neighborhood, uh, driving around and, and stop and do what they needed. And, you know, do that, that face-to-face contact with the, the different sets in the city. And it just really developed this camaraderie and this respect and this awe that the, the gang members had for him that still exists today. It's really remarkable. You know, you're getting um, feedback from around the world from uh, people that are interested in this gang uh, mentality. And we talked earlier on the program of that they have their own morality and uh, they have their own, I mean, related to why they join. It's so fascinating that uh, U.S. Attorney um, Eric Holder, uh, Attorney General, came out yesterday and, of course, what they're t- labeling this as the Boston study and they're uh-huh. going to be funding it because of the shooting in Denmark. Are you amazed that uh, they're examining this relationship with gang affiliation and radicalization? Not really. I mean, it, it's been going on forever. I mean, I, I was in gangs. I studied gangs. I went to gang seminars, and they, did, they just cannot seem to get how simple it really is. And there is no shortage of, of academics and professionals that are more than willing to take on these grants to fund whatever theory they have, you know, to try and prove or disprove, and they get paid an enormous amount of money. It, meanwhile, they really me- haven't produced anything. I was just going to say, meanwhile, they're missing the target. It's like they're missing the broad side of a barn, aren't they? It, it's painfully obvious when you really get involved with it that it very much comes down to they, they're looking for a way to fit, and they're looking basically for a way to survive, and not just physically but emotionally. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, Zach, we're out of time, but it's um, awesome, and we'll have you on again because uh, just uh, digging into your law enforcement uh, past and uh, your thoughts on what's going on nationally. But, ladies and gentlemen, Zach Fortier, his website, ZachFortier.com, uh, and he get, he's releasing his latest book today. I'm in, I am Raymond Washington. It's on Amazon. And, of course, his other books, Curb Check, Reload, and Hero to Zero. It's uh, awesome, Zach, and can't, can't wait to get my hands on uh, that I am Raymond Washington with all the pictures in it. So... Right, right. There's a lot of never-before-seen photos and stuff in there. It's, it's really good. It's really interesting. All right. Well, Zach, have a, we'll talk soon. Have a great uh, week. And uh, All right, can't wait to having me on. All right. Thanks, Zach. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Fortier and his book, I Am Raymond Washington. We'll be right back after this break on the Sunrise Show. Stay tuned for more. ABC Sports is about four minutes away.